Hello, everybody. That's Vincenzo Piccolo from uh, Dermatology Unit of the University of Campania, Luigi Vanditelli. And uh, as usually in my uh, videos, I will give you some information about an interesting topic of uh, dermatology. Uh, today, uh, we are going to talk about dermoscopy of uh, juvenile xanthogranuloma in children. Let's start from a case of juvenile xanthogranuloma. As you can see here, is a small plaque or nodule of the abdomen in a uh, five-year-old child. Uh, the nodule is apparently red in color, but if you see at thermoscopy, the yellow background is particularly represented and it is usually surrounded by this uh, erythema. And this uh, thermoscopic appearance has been defined as the setting sun appearance. Juvenile xanthogranuloma is uh, um, the most common form of uh, benign, no longer on cells, uh, istiocytosis in uh, children. It is usually uh, self-improving uh, over the years, but the most difficult part is making the diagnosis in a more complex case. For that issue, we investigated in uh, this uh, very recent paper. It is dated in, uh, on uh, 10th June 2020. Uh, 22, uh, dermoscopy of uh, juvenile xanthogranuloma through a retrospective descri descriptive study uh, performed it on uh, 35 pediatric patients under the age of uh, 18. In this paper, we collected the dermoscopic features of these patients, and these are the results. First of all, the most important dermoscopic features was the, uh, that most human xanthogranuloma were symmetric tumors, okay? And it's very important uh, to distinguish it from, uh, I don't know, most melanocytic lesions or other tumors of the skin. And the yellow-orange background was well represented in most uh, tumors. So more than 70% of patients presented with these features. Incredibly, um, a lot uh, of uh, lesions, uh, the majority, presented uh, vascular structures. Among them, um, vascular were linear in most cases, uh, polymorphic in 20%, arborizing in 10%, dotted in 5%, and glomerular in uh, the rest on uh, 5%. The setting sun appearance that is considered the most specific and characteristic appearance of human xanthogranuloma was seen only in 22.8% of cases, so not so common. And we found other demoscopic features such as scales in 25%, white streaks, inverse networks, uh, follicles, ulceration, and rosettes in a minority of uh, uh, patients. This is a comparative pictures of uh, a series of uh, cases. As you can see, the yellowish orange background is well represented in a lot of uh, uh, tumors. And most lesions are uh, uh, symmetric in uh, shape and as thermoscopic features. As you can see, we have a lot of uh, vessels seen here, dotted vessels, glomerular vessels, linear uh, vessels. This is the typical setting sun appearance. Also in uh, case uh, with letter N, we have scales, scales, uh, uh, rosettes, uh, uh, whitish streaks, uh, ulceration in this case. So a large variability of uh, uh, dermoscopic appearance in these cases presented in these slides. Another very important information um, that came from this study is that um, there was a difference between the juvenile xanthogranuloma, uh, which were excised, and the one uh, uh, who uh, were left on the skin. 
and for instance, settings and appearance was present in only one excited uh, lesion. Most lesions presented with setting sun pattern were not excited, and it was found a high percentage of atypical features in santogram loma excited, such as uh, a negative network or white strikes and uh, erosions or alteration that are usually observed in, in lesion different from uh, Juvenile uh, santo long. And this is very important because it indicates that when we are in front of a typical tumor with yellowish back background and uh, sun vessels, you see we are quite confident with the diagnosis. But when we see some structures that uh, remind us, I don't know, different tumors such as Pitts tumors or things like that. We, we are not so confident with diagnosis and we do not think to human example uh, granuloma. So to summarize, human example granuloma is rare but benign, non langerhans cell histiocytosis that is mostly seen in children, in pediatric patients, is a self-healing condition. So you can be very, uh, soft with your patients when you make diagnosis of juvenile sample granuloma and just follow up is needed. Uh, setting some appearance that is classically considered as the most specific uh, appearance at the endoscopy, it was not definitely the most common in uh, in uh, our uh, paper in our study. Uh, symmetry and uh, yellowish background were the most common features seen in uh, human xanthogranuloma as the most typical uh, uh, dermoscopic char characteristics in, in our patients. There was a high rate of vessel. This was the, probably the, 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 the most unexpected day. Um, and finally, dermoscopy uh, can be considered very useful for the, uh, confirming the diagnosis and the excision is just a, to consider when the atypical dermoscopic features are seen. I hope that you enjoyed my session and uh, I want to thank you for listening. See you for next video. Bye.